Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a film analysis of Isaiah Likely, the former Coastal Carolina tight end, went to the Baltimore Ravens in the fourth round of this year's draft, and I think he was a very interesting pick. Doesn't really fit their usual prototype for backup tight ends, but we'll talk more about that later. Before we get into it though, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it, and make sure to suggest more prospects I should feature down below. But now without any further ado, let's get into the tape. So today we're just looking at his all of his targets versus the Citadel in 2021. This is the only tape I could get access to, so it's not the greatest. Uh, some of the camera work is not the best, but this definitely isn't his best game, but there's a lot of good indicators of what he can do for the Ravens in this game. So here's our first play. He's going to be there in the big slot motion, and then he's going to be outside back again, and then he's just going to run this out route. He has a pretty good amount of separation. Quarterback needs to pull the trigger here as this is just a good throw right here, but going to be under pressure and forced out of the pocket, but I like to see likely if you see up there, he sees the plays breaking down goes up makes contact with the defender a little too much with that arm extension but makes some contact and then turns this back around to get to the middle of the field but the ball is a little bit behind him and he can't bring it in but this is still a good sign i like that he can create out of structure again if he's playing with lamar jackson or maybe tyler huntley if lamar gets hurt again i think he could be you know definitely very useful in that offense as a guy who can create out of space i mean but yeah look at all this space he has and again the ball is going to be right behind him i want to see him make that catch but again look at i mean all this space in front of him he's expecting this to be out in front of him he can run under run under it and you know get a lot of yards after catch but not able to do that gonna be behind him and that's just gonna be a rough one for coastal carolina but still nothing i think needs to be you know too looked at too badly now here's our next play this is going to be a solid catch over the middle in traffic not too much to say about this one just good example just you know gonna let the tape roll and show that he can do over the middle he can do outside he's a lot of versatility there and can do pretty much whatever you need him to do now here's our next one there in the red zone here and this is going to be an rpo he's running this slant inside and this nickel is going to blitz the quarterback is looking for that read his running back you know is possibly going to get the handoff here in the backfield this guy he sees the nickel blitz and likely is just open over the middle got the catch there this is just a good read but you're gonna see he gets out of his i mean for a tight end he's moving pretty fast and i think this is very impressive and he's gonna get a lot of good yards after the catch as well as he's a pretty physical guy and for a tight end who's gonna play big slot i think this is something that you want to see like this rep nothing too crazy but still good to see him do that on the rpo and again this angle is pretty blurry but you can just see the physicality and for a guy that's his size you know you'd like to see him carrying guys like that you know whenever he gets the opportunity to now this is going to be a low pass he's going to get this is not going to be a great throw from the quarterback but it's going to be a really good catch and he's going to do some great things after the catch as well just running a little hitch route outside and again that's right like almost at his ankles he has to bend completely down to catch it and then he's going to immediately juke this guy out and then hurdle this guy for a big highlight play loved this one and again very blurry but very impressive to see his catch radius especially on a throw that he wasn't expecting after that last you know throw that was low or that was behind him you know on that first play you like to see him you know making these catches these aren't like a weakness by any means and you know that's he's having to extend real low to get this ball catches it and then is able to you know get a lot after the catch nice hurdle just a fun play in general now here he's just gonna be running an out route and nothing too special about this play just solid route good pick play by that receiver and he gets wide open and gets out of bounds although i would like to touch on his route running a little bit it's nothing crazy it's not bad at all i don't want to give you that impression but he's more of a route bender as opposed to a cutter if that makes sense as you see you know if you're watching like chris Olave or you know who's a receiver and you know we don't want to compare a receiver and a tight end in terms of route running usually he's going to get completely vertical chop his feet and then just make a sharp cut to the perimeter and Isaiah Likely is not going to do that. He's just going to kind of slowly bend his route. I mean, still very fast. I mean, he's fast and he's explosive. And, but I'd like to see him get a little better at cutting because when you're not given this much cushion where it doesn't matter, guys can guard you a lot easier if they see your hips start to turn. Like, I mean, from right here, they can just start moving outside and then go to cut this off, especially as an NFL player and an NFL maybe slot corner who's going to guard him. So could clean that up. Still not bad route running at all, but that's just a little picky thing that I think could be improved at the next level. Now here's our last play. This is going to be 
a comeback route he's gonna run i like seeing him expand his route tree and this threat of verticality right here is gonna draw both this corner and this safety onto him deep and then he's just gonna have a lot of separation to cut this back down they're both lost this corner is not looking and he's gonna have a great gain here on this comeback route gonna pick up the first down pretty easily and get a big chunk of yards here about a 15 yard gain but again in the nfl is he going to get this much separation on this cut i don't think so both of these guys i mean when he's turned around they're still going the other way this corner wasn't even looking even though he sees kind of something about to happen so nfl corners and defenders do not probably let this happen but still a good rep and i like that his route tree is definitely expanded to an extent not just outs and slants and you know we didn't see him run vertical too often but it's clear they respect that so he must have done it a lot i would say during the season and again apologies this angle is terrible it's not focused it's not centered it's just does not look good but you can see how he chops his feet there and you know still this is a good route nothing crazy but still a solid play and something that i like to see translate to the next level so that's going to wrap it up for today isaiah likely coastal carolina tight end is a guy i like again sad that this is all the footage that we have but nothing you know no bad signs at all and definitely nothing crazy but i think he definitely has a lot of potential and the ravens who usually go for more of a nick boyle kind of backup tight end behind mark andrews who's you know a big guy who could be almost a sixth offensive lineman at times or a patrick ricard who's fullback and can kind of do similar things as an h-back usually they go for bigger guys who are more thick so Isaiah likely is just mainly a receiver and not much of a blocker in the Ravens run heavy offense could mean signs of change in Baltimore or could just be getting a specialist big slot as they do need receiver bad who's just going to come in on passing downs and be a good receiver and hopefully move the chains for him. So we'll have to see how this kind of impacts their scheme. Maybe Greg Roman's going to change it up after some years of less success than they want. Obviously, their team was completely like on IR last year. So that's a weird one to account for in changing your scheme but could be interesting but i think he's just going to be a specialist for them as just a receiving tight end big slot you know that kind of guy but let me know what you think of isaiah likely especially ravens fans let me know what you thought of the pick and your draft as a whole made a video on david ajabo so make sure to check that out too if you're interested because i love 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 david ajabo and make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and make sure to suggest more prospects down below that I should feature. And thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.